All right, hey, over here at Southern UV Station. I'm not sure which train this is offhand right now. fire down there and the entire U-Haul storage facility was on fire and for about an hour she was burning and not far from the tracks but they sent a train by right by it's on track one and there's huge smoke I've got video of it so I'll be putting it up on the channel it'll be up before this actually so if you look up U-Haul fire, it would have been posted up previously. Oh, sorry. Actually, I believe this video is going up on train fans, the daily train. Uh, the fire will be going up on planes, trains, and boats online. So if you want to go over to that channel, that's where I'll have the fire. I was over there for about 20 minutes, half an hour. We've seen the huge billows of smoke going up and I ran down there as close as I can get. They had it all blocked off, fire trucks all over, news crews. behind there we get a train going the other way or just a few locomotives maybe probably just a few locomotives have actually stopped oh it looks like two locomotives and a slug still coming up the hill down there. oh you can see them now Two locos, a slug. <laughs> as soon as this train's done, I'm going to be running to my laptop in my van and trying to edit that fire video up and get it up. Coming up the hill down there. Oh, the yarders are moving now. Getting warmer outside, take the jacket off. We're right off of Lake Huron it's to the north of us. We've had a north wind all day, so it been like 17, 18 degrees all day. A little bit below normal for fairly early September. She's still coming up the hill down there. 
if you're watching this don't forget to hit that subscribe be getting some more Fastoria tomorrow. We're going to Fastoria, hopefully. The B Hill 3 is here with me, filming right there. He's from Port Dover, and I'm going with him tomorrow to Fastoria. I don't do too much traveling around yet because it gets kind of expensive with the gas prices and until I get monetized for the train channels, it's, uh, I'm limited. I do a lot of other stuff. I got 10 channels. One of them's all trains, this one. And then one of them's got planes, trains, and boats. And then I've got trucks, off-roading, all kinds of stuff. But out of all the stuff I film, the thing that gets the least amount of views, sorry to say, is trains. So... I get ships, I get planes, they get a little bit more. Sailboats. And then my off-roading, that gets a lot more. Car shows, RC racing, all kinds of stuff. But, sorry to say, yes, trains do get the least amount of use on my channels overall. I'm hoping that changes because that's what I film the most. It used to be the off-roading, but COVID kind of put a big hinder on that for a couple of years. And now I just can't afford to get back out to get filming for it again because most of the, or almost all the events are traveling for it. And with gas prices at six, seven dollars, or six dollars a gallon here, seven dollars a gallon, dollar seventy a liter for most of the world, but for Americans it would be equivalent to, yeah, I think six or seven dollars a gallon. 